the last day that we have at this house that we've been living in for the past two years. Um, and quite frankly, this house has been awesome. It's allowed us to ride our dirt bikes, uh, learn about what it's like to be a homeowner, which has its pros and its cons, I will say. Um, and technically, we're still homeowners. We're just mobile home owners, I guess you could say. We knew uh, not long after we moved in that this place was a little bit more temporary than we thought we, it was gonna be. Dang it, wouldn't you know, after all the, the months that have went by, uh, everything just kept pushing closer to this life. So we're about to start, get our journey, go travel and see new things, meet new people, get new relationships, start new business, find ourselves, find God even more. But we are stoked to be uh, able to say that the land of this beautiful country is our home. So thanks for joining us and uh, we can't wait to have these adventures and for all of you to join in with us just to see what we're up to and keep in touch and love everybody. Gimmo, are you excited? Ross, are you excited? Yep. Right in Minneapolis there. On the road. On the road, let's go. So we are here in northern Arizona, about 20 minutes east of the North Rim Grand Canyon at 8,800 feet elevation. And I tell you what, we have found a hidden gem of a spot. Um, when we were traveling out here, we were with uh, Desert Point Adventures and we just kind of were taking service roads and figuring it out. And I was definitely praying for good solar, we wanted open skies for our starling, we wanted privacy and just a place for the dogs to run around. And I tell you what, we definitely got this spot. And now that we've been camping here for several days, we thought this would be the perfect time to kind of show you the setup, show you what living in a hiker trailer is all about and what we need. So starting off here, we are rocking and rolling in a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. We've put on uh, quite a bit of miles so far during this trip, uh, but she's still trucking and she's still doing a great job. We've got the KTM in the back. That is Ross's baby. Um, at any point, he can disconnect and ride up some trails or join in any of our friends and family who ride around the country. I'm gonna start the tour with our awning, which is the 230-270 Peregrine uh, awning, and it has been holding up so well with Ross's proper guideline usage. We have no issues with um, strong winds at this point. It is held down so nice, and as you can see, our shade is excellent. We set up a little bit differently each time we're at camp and we're honestly learning every single time that we uh, stop as far as where we want our kitchen table to go, our chairs, Gitmo's 
awesome bed and our fire pits you know all of these things kind of change each time that we are um, camping either way every time we're out camping we learn something new and find something we like better and i think that's the point we have a little water set up here this is with a scepter water tank shout out to brad q for our 3d printed adapter to get this handy dandy Amazon uh, spigot going for us. We also set up here our Starlink router as well as our EcoFlow, which we have plugged into solar right now. So it looks like we are at 76% battery. We are pulling 136 watts of solar power and only using 25 with the with the Starlink. So we're out here pretty much in the middle of nowhere. We definitely have no cell phone service, and yet we are rocking with the Starlink high-speed internet, and you pretty much can't beat that. You might be wondering where the heck do we store all of our food? Do we store it in this small cooler above here? No, that is our drink cooler. We store all of our food in our fridge box here. We have the Truma fridge fridge slides out and we're just able to pop it open and we've got all of our goodies in there. Another staple in the Overland community and a must have is the trasheroo or anything similar to it. That is where we are able to store our trash. Having a trasheroo or something to be able to carry your trash out um, is absolutely an essential showers everyone's asking how do we stay clean well luckily we have a 23-0 shower enclosure and also a hot water heater and in addition here underneath we have a 21 gallon water storage tank so we are able to take our showers right here whether out in the open if we've got plenty of privacy or we can put the shower enclosure up and take a nice hot shower when we're out here in the middle of nowhere, getting a little ripe from all the activities that we've been <laughs> doing. On this end of the fridge box, we use for storage. So we have a Milwaukee pack out uh, storage bin that houses a lot of catch all things, as well as our handy dandy trusty thunder box. This is what allows us to do the business out in the beautiful locations that we do. These solar panels are some of the best that we believe money can buy. These are the Overland Solar Bug Out 130 panels and they pack up to pretty much nothing, which is what allows us to have two with us. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be able to carry that much solar. They are essential to powering us long term when we want to be out on camp for a long period of time. Moving on to the galley, which is essentially our kitchen. So if you are thinking about getting a hiker, organization is your friend. We have learned that when the galley is all messed up in the back, or where there's no rhyme or reason, it makes overall usage not a totally fun time. So things like baskets, magnets to keep things in place, or mounting tape, labels help a ton, and drawers. Also, if you are a shorty like me, a traveling step stool is a must. Finally, here are the cabin quarters. This is where we sleep. We love our little pine box. It is super cozy. It's able to house everything we need. We have cubby storage. We have a place to put our Xbox and a screen. These curtains are made from Talona Rustics and they are awesome. They're completely blackout. So this place gets pretty dark even when the sun's out. Another must have in your trailer, van, wherever, is some LED lights that change colors. Now that is a vibe setter right there. We also have extra cubby storage for 
things like socks and underwear, sweatshirts, stuff like that, and a little pass through through the back so we're able to grab snacks. And, I mean, tell you what, this is all you need. Thank you guys for watching this tour. There'll be other videos here to come. Thank you to our friends and family for uh, all the support and keeping in touch with us. We miss you guys. Yep, and we hope you can uh, keep following along with our adventure so you can help us uh, feel connected still. And uh, we hope to see you guys out somewhere soon. And maybe we can convince you to move out of Indiana. Mm -hmm. That's it for Fob Walden, and remember to keep your powder dry. That's it for Fob Walden and we'll see you on the next one.